This is a mountain ash tree, the tallest flowering plants on the planet. And this fantastic tree behind us, called the elephant tree because of the way that its feet buttress, is about 80 metres tall. There are bigger trees, but this is one of the largest in diameter. Extraordinary thing. 350, 400 years old at least. And you can see that it survived many fires. It's a survivor. This forest is, is so important for many reasons. It supplies almost all of the water to the people of Melbourne. It stores vast amounts of carbon, which is critical for tackling dangerous climate change. It provides critical habitat for rare and endangered animals. It has enormous tourism potential for generating jobs. It cleans the air for the people of Melbourne. So there are enormous opportunities, enormous values of these kinds of places, and they're increasingly rare on the planet. What you see here is the devastation associated with clearfell logging. Huge amounts of slash left on the forest floor. It's going to create a fire risk. Loss of habitat for animals like Leadbeater's possum and the greater glider. It's going to take 200 years to recover the habitat value of this formerly beautiful environment. When I look out over this, I feel sick. This should not have happened. It's a breach of prescriptions, a breach of forestry laws. It's hard to describe how awful this looks. So the research that ANU undertakes is based around these long-term sites. Many of these sites have been in place since 1983, and we measure how the trees are growing, how understory plants are coming up, how many bird species are here, how many possums and gliders are in these kinds of places, how much carbon there is. So these provide the basic data for us to understand how the forest is changing, how the animals in the forest are changing, and how animals and plants are interacting with one another. I've been working here for 34 years because each discovery makes me want to learn more. And the more I learn, the more I realise that we're going to lose if we don't manage this system properly. So essentially what we do if we continue on this path is we leave a system that has an incredibly impaired water supply, has a massive loss of biodiversity, including the state's faunal emblem, becomes more and more fire prone. So it's going to kill more and more people in these kinds of areas when it doesn't need to. These areas have the potential to be one of Australia's great natural icons. But the only way to achieve that is through the creation of a great forest national park. And we're seeking your support to help us do the research to ensure that that vision becomes a reality.